everyone, it's Lisa, aka Cosmic Mermaid. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Beholder. This is episode six, I believe. <laughs> Five? No, six, seven? I don't know. It'll say it in the um, <laughs> the title. Anyway, um, we are back and we have just uh, dropped off the box to Fiddle Faddle. <laughs> and we earned ourselves $3,000, so that's pretty good. We still have some things to do. We got to do this hoof and horns thing or horns and hoofs thing. We still got 19 hours to get some money for our son because um, he wants to skip out of the country. Um, yeah. So we have some things to do, and we need to get doing them. So let's get in the game. All right. Um, let's see here. Let me just see what we have to do. Uh, I should probably pause this. Persuade Leo Gvezdek <laughs> to invest money in horns and hoofs. And we get 5000 for that. Yeah, and we still got this $20,000 we got to scrape up. And we all, we get some reputation for that. Um, Leo is in, is this Leo? No, that's Fiddle Faddle. Um, is this supposed to be Leo? Leo is in, oh, he's got money too. He might have some riches. He's in apartment one. Okay, so he's over here. Oh gosh, I remember, that's right. We got rid of that poor old, that poor girl. I didn't, I don't know, whoops. I don't know what I did wrong. I mean, I know what I did wrong, but I just didn't mean to do it. I did it. All right, now our wife wants something. Well, let's go find out what she wants. What do you want, Anna? She probably wants some more money. Mm -hmm. What, Carl? Purchases for the house. Talk about Martha's death. We did that. How may I help you? Talk about Patrick's immigration. Purchases for the house? Carl, buy us a radio. Are you a manager or not? Listen, we don't have time for that. I always hear the news over the phone. That's that's what you need. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, don't, we don't need a radio. Um, how may I help? What do you want, Anna? I need 500 for groceries. I just gave you 500 for groceries. No. I just gave you $500 for groceries. Here, just take the money because I can't be bothered. Thanks, Carl. You go to the market. I think she's... Who's this? Who's this? Thanks. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, that's Leo. Let's introduce ourselves. Meet. Hi, my name is Carl, landlord. I respectfully thank you for taking in more tenants. You are welcome. I am Leo Gavezdek. I will be here for a few days attending to an important matter. What brought you to Helmer? Helmer. I feel fortunate for the first time in my long, difficult life. I won the labor lottery and have come to the award ceremony. Wonderful. Nothing else? Talk about the lottery. Talk about the city. Let's talk about this. Ask about the city. What do you think about our city? I do like it very much. There are so many factories. It's been said that Helmer is a city of pipes. I took a tour of the machine tool manufactory today. You could teach us a lot. Do you really believe the pipes in the factory are okay? Sure, it's smoking, so the factory is operational. That means people are working. The country will get rich, and life will improve. Okay, I'm still talking to you, sir. Um, talk about the lottery. How will you spend your winnings? I have a difficult dilemma. My sister's house burned down recently. She and her family live close to the front line. I want to move them here. But I have no family. No, my co-workers are my family. I'm also going to buy new work shoes and a case for my tools. I'm buying gifts for my nieces and nephews. I found a shop where you can buy honey cockerels and cranberries with sugar. Great deal. I love cranberries too. Remember, you can buy only two packs at a time. Two packs? Then I'll make a few trips. There are so many barges loaded down with coal. Isn't that amazing? Okay, um, whew, I don't know. We're going to have to, oh, he wants something. Let's go in here. Let's see what he wants. Um, ask what he wants. 
Do you want something? I need your help, Carl. I have to go to the administrative offices tomorrow. There's going to be an award ceremony. It's I'm a simple man. I work at a factory. I've never owned a suit. I bought a two-piece suit at the funeral shop, but there were no ties. The department store is also out of ties. Could you help me to find a tie? Everyone will be okay. I, everyone will be okay. I just can't go shopping. I'll try to think of something. I know you'll be a big help. I'll pay you. Good. We need the money. All right. What are these... What are these? What are these? Find a tie for Leo for $300 and ask her to bring a radio. Can we steal that too? Um, what's Spick and Span? Oh, Spick and Span. Get him Spick and Span. Well, we can go. We know where we can find a tie from somebody's got to have a tie. I am not buying a tie, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so that's his apartment. It's Aloysius in here because we don't need him no more. So let's go here. Aloysius, are you home? You got a tie? Do you got a radio? Do you got anything I need? Aloysius? I think he just left. All right. It's Pete. Is he coming home? I am not buying a tie. That's Rosa. Okay. Oh no, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? And okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Coming in. Gotta gotta keep on the look. I said the I said the look in this thing. Look in here. Look in here. You got nothing. You ain't got a tie? I think they the the Rainix, they might have a tie. Dumbbells? No. Have I profiled him? Oh, oh, people coming home. People coming home. Is this Aloysius? Who's this? Oh! Leave. Aloysius is home. Okay. What do you want? Does he want something? Oh, no, he's just looking at that. Okay. Where are you going, Aloysius? Do I have anything to say to you? Hello. End the conversation. Okay, no. Are you going downstairs? You're going into your apartment, aren't you? Great. Okay. Um, those people are home. These people are home. Great. Okay. Um... Oh, here he comes. Oh, no, that's not him. Is he home? He's not home. He's not here. Where is he at? Is he downstairs? I think that's him. Okay. All right. Let's go in here. Look in here. Look in here. Tobacco. Blue shirt. <gasps> dun dun dun! Cheapers creepers! Dag nabbit. Apologize and leave. I'm just expecting the apartment. Sorry about that. I'm already leaving. Leave at once. Yes, I'm leaving. Oh. Dag nabbit. You can't see when they come in. You can't see when they're coming. Oh, it's too much. It's it's um, it's too worrisome. It's too worrisome. All right. I don't have any bills, right? Nothing. Okay. Oh boy. All right. That was that was that was that wasn't a good thing. Anybody doing anything they shouldn't be doing? Still need to get the Rainix on something, but I can't. Oh, she's leaving. Is her husband up there? I know they got a gun. I just need to blackmail. Is her husband up there? 
husband in there? Oh, he's there. Never mind. I just keep knocking on people's doors. Hello, Aloysius. Where are you going? Oh, you're going down, aren't you? Down for dinner. Aloysius. Oh, gosh. Come, get in here. Did I look in here already? Oh, I looked in there. There's Aloysius. Okay. What do you have? Passport. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Who's that? Okay, nobody. Aloysius is still down there. That tennis. He likes to play tennis. Chocolate candy. Take that. <gasps> Aloysius is coming. Aloysius is coming. Aloysius is coming. What's happening? Who's stealing? Oh, am I stealing? Is it me? Am I in trouble? Who's in trouble? Uh-oh. What's happening? Why are the Rainix leaving? What happened? Why are the Rainix leaving? They're moving out. Why are the Popo here? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? I must have missed something. Did they pick up the, the, the man over here? And I missed it? Violation of order. Several unidentified individuals dressed in white robes snuck into the university and threatened to cover the blackboard with words that would tarnish the dignity of Miroslav Pepper, Professor Pepper resigned and was rushed to the hospital. Eleven people were reportedly killed during the arrest. Good Lord. Voice of Truth. Professor Pepper, who is inf infamous for committing bribery and other dirty deeds, has finally done something useful. Namely, he admitted to impeding the education of our young people instead of promoting it. Shame on the person that sends our students to war. What were the doctors doing in the university? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Uh oh, my phone's ringing. My phone's ringing. Get to this phone, man. Get to this phone. You don't walk fast enough. Except the private call. Good afternoon, Carl. This is George Danton. Uh oh, where did you take my number? Our unit has friends everywhere. Oh, boy. All I want from you is an explanation about which unit you're discussing. What? I have a family. I must know what you're getting me into. We're trying to make the world a better place, Carl. It's impossible with the current government. As you know, the current government is unwilling to change. What's your unit's name? Unit of Confident Revolutionists. The New Tomorrow Movement. Why are you being sarcastic, Carl? We might have become best friends. You can earn the money you so desperately need for your family. What if I refuse the deal with you and report you to the quarter? I'm afraid your refusal can lead to unpleasant consequences for both of us. I repeat, we have friends everywhere. I knew it. There is something behind your chatter about a better tomorrow. You can fry eggs without breaking them. One can fry eggs without breaking them. You have kids and therefore must know what it means to sacrifice yourself from the sake of, for the sake of future generations. Will you offer to sacrifice someone else, me, for example? Not necessarily, Carl. You just need to agree to, the, to be ready to help our movement. I really don't have a choice. What do you want from me? Find an apartment in your wonderful building for our faithful comrade. His name is Antoine Grubrick. He will stay in the building for about a week. Oh, God. Ow. Oh. Let's say I agree. How much will you pay me? 
3,000. That's it. This will be the beginning of our collaboration. Ask about the person. Who is who is that? Antoine is just important to our unit. He's a printing specialist and will print brochures criticizing the current state government. Oh no. Well we could we could blackmail him. We'll owe you if you hide him. We're planning to go on strike at the factory in the near future and need those brochures. It won't work without them. Talk about the country. If you don't force me to help the revolutionary movement, describe your perception of the state of our country. I must know why I'm putting myself at risk. Why do you need an explanation, Carl? You already know everything. Total control of people, ridiculous bans on everything, no freedom of speech. What do I get in return? Cards for clothes, food, soap. People shudder at night when they hear the slightest sound. They're afraid someone will come and take them away. What do you think of reports written by one family member to turn in another? Is it okay? What about your job, Carl? What normal society can count it appropriate? I do the job I was assigned. I was assigned. I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. Help us, Carl. Our children will have a society where they won't be jailed for their choices. <sighs> Agree to help. It's the only choice I got. As far as I can see, I have no choice. Antoine Grubick, I'll see what I can do. Great, Carl. Be careful. All right. Guess that's next on my list. Repair apartment three. Move in. Where's Antoine Grubrick? There he is. Looking to rent an apartment by the print shop. Will be no problem. Rent them. Oh, the phone's ringing again? Uh-oh. Pick up the phone. Private call. Thanks, Carl. I'll send the money to your account. Oh, girl, they're getting the fast. Please help Comrade Grubrick the best you can. He's going. He's doing an important thing. Help us and spy. Do you understand me? Ah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did I get the money? Ah. <laughs> uh. I guess I don't did I already get the money? Can I say I don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't think I got the money. Um yes, I understand you. I never doubted you. I'll call you in a couple of days to see how you're doing. Okay, now I got the money. <laughs> Cheapers. All right, follow Antoine Gubrick. He's under suspicion. Okay, I still gotta find a tie. <sighs> Okay, here comes Gubrick. Okay, no, they didn't arrest him. All right. Um, all right, let me go up here. Is this dude here? I got to convince him to join the Hoof and Horns. Oh, my phone is ringing again. No, it's... Look how fast I can run. I didn't know I could double click on and make me go faster. Um, emergency call from the ministry. Ministry of order. Carl, we bring you sad news. Uh-oh. Your son Patrick Stein took part in the central bank robbery and was killed by police. <gasps> no. We knew he was doing the doing the wrong stuff. Our condolences. Are they lying or have they got our son? Since your son is under age, you'll be fined 5000 for the damage he did to the central bank. <gasps> you got to be kidding me. What kind of society is this? Oh, it's just like the government. Oh, my God. They done took my money. Oh, now she's crying. You can't. Oh, God. Patrick has died. This game is horrific. Oh. You can't cry. Anna, you can't cry. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, Carl. 
Oh, talk about Patrick's death. Patrick has died. My son, my poor son. First Martha's illness, now this. I can't do this anymore. Why do we have to go through this? Everything has been getting worse and worse since we moved here. Oh, Patrick, why? Oh, I don't, I can't. I, I know. It's, it's, like uh, uh, oh my God. Oh. Now what? Now what? Come up here and read this nonsense. Last night, criminals boldly robbed the West Branch of the uh, Central Bank. The police neutralized them before they escaped and were working to establish their identity. Several factory workers and an underage minor were reportedly among them. Oh, look at our son! With his eyes X'd out. Voice of truth, comrades, the government has turned our workers into criminals. Poverty ruins young lives. Then they die on the steps of the central bank with bullets in their chest. They died so we could keep fighting. We shouldn't recruit we should have recruited them. Being idle drove them crazy. Oh. My God. oh. And we're working for the state. We're working for the state. Oh. No. And now we're, 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 we're playing two time. Okay, can we talk to this dude? We need to talk to this dude. Why? Who's the popo coming for now? Look at him. He's doing illegals. Who is this? How do I catch him? Oh my god! What happened? A whole family's dead! A whole family's dead! What the heck happened? How did she die? What happened? A minute. What just happened? How did Anna die? Does it tell me? Oh my God. I've received a new bill. I gotta pay a thousand dollars for a funeral. Now I'm probably have to pay a thousand dollars for a wife. I don't have this money. Pay this. Oh my god. This is horrible. Oh. Okay. Oh, this game is horrible. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, how much time do I have? Oh, I don't even, it's not even the time. Okay, are you, are you the dude, wait a minute, are you the dude that I have to? I already did this. How do I convince him to, to do the hoof and horns? Maybe I got to get him with the tie first. Okay, all right, let me go up here. I definitely can't buy a tie now. Are you people home? Oh. Oh, these people aren't there anymore. Who's he? Who's he? Who you at? Who, 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 who are you? I can't remember who you. Oh, cheapers. Oh, you're, you're Gruber. Have I met you? No. I'm Carl the Landlord. Oh, you know what? I never went and picked up the boxes that were outside the apartments. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, I'm Antoine Gubrick. It's nice to meet you. Our mutual friends told me you're one of the best printing specialists around. It seems you mixed up 
you mixed up some things. I don't think we have mutual friends. Of course, secrecy and other stuff. Sorry for bothering you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, talk about an important task. What task? What are you talking about? I'm a transient. I'm moving to a Class B hostel in several days. What about the leaflets you had to print? Oh, you mean this one? It's a small task I decided to complete at home. Don't worry about this. It won't disturb the tenants. Um, ask about new tomorrow. Tell me about the movement you joined. What are its tasks and goals? That's nonsense. There's no movement. My main goal is to eat well and hit my target. You won't let me complete these tasks. Oh, gosh. Yeah, whatever. Oh, for whom the bell tolls. Okay. Oh, he's going. He's leaving. He's leaving. Oh, no, he's going over there. Oh. Uh, okay, he's going down. He's going down. Let's see. Let's go in. Is he downstairs? Okay, he's downstairs. I gotta... I gotta keep out. Let's go in here and see. What's he got? He's got... There's some leaflets. Sweater. He likes to play tennis. Okay. He's got wine. He's still down there. He's coming to use his phone. Reproductions. He's coming to use his phone. He's coming to use his phone. Get out of there. <gasps> Whew. Okay. 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 Can we profile? Okay, we should profile some of these people that we haven't profiled yet. Do we get money for that? Oh, wow, I'm running. Okay. Um. Okay, I think we can, we can profile this dude. Um. He lives in apartment three. He's lives alone and what was he printing office master he likes to do this and he likes to do that yes we get money for this okay send it oh oh it was rejected oh we got fined a hundred dollars oh <gasps> what apartment is he in I gave the wrong number? Apartment number? What number? Part He's in apartment three. What did I say? Oh, gosh. Okay. Leo is in apartment number three. What did I say? He's male. He lives alone. He's this. This is Leo. Oh, Antoine. Oh, shoot. I don't know who I'm doing. Antoine. Antoine. Oh, I'm so confused. My wife's dead. I'm so confused. I don't have anything on him. Okay, Antoine is the printing master. And he lives in apartment three, right? Oh my gosh, I just lost my money. Marital status, lives alone. Apartment three, and he's male. Printing master, send it. Okay. I can profile Aloysius, I think, right? Because I got some stuff on him. Yep, I got stuff on Aloysius. Aloysius. He lives in apartment two. He's male. He lives alone. He's a doctor. We got all this stuff. Oh, the more stuff you get, the more money you get. Okay. Send it. Received. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I wasn't aware. Okay. All right. Do I have another bill? For the funeral. Yep. Let's pay it.
Okay. I don't know how to get a tie other than, let me see, how much is a tie? I'm going to get rewarded $300, so let me see. Uh, I can't believe her wife died. I don't even know how. It didn't even say. Did she kill herself? Not new. No. Where the blue tie? Oh, one one ninety five. Oh my God! I get a hundred dollar return. <sighs> I need to start blackmailing people. Oh, look at this! Oh, we are not buying that radio. Well, she's no no longer with us. Um, we need to start blackmailing people with some apples. I think. Um. Oh, let me start selling some of this stuff. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. I didn't know I had all this stuff in here. Look at this. Is this all I got? Oh, I got stuff. What is this? Where did I get all this stuff at? Oh, I got lots of stuff. Okay, so let me buy this tie. Let me just buy this tie. Where's the tie at? Let me buy one of these. And... I'm going to try to... I said I was going to do this before, and I didn't. I'm going to buy this apple, and I'm going to try to blackmail somebody. I'm going to try to put it in the apartment. Aloysius, Aloysius, Aloysius. He's downstairs. I'm going in. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Never mind. Never mind. Not Aloysius. Not Aloysius. Not Aloysius. Who can we blackmail? I should rent out another apartment is what I should do. That's what I should. I can't believe my whole family's gone. This is horrible. Oh. Okay. Let me go and see. Is he, I got to give this. Is it this guy I got to give the tie to? This guy I got to give the tie to. Leo. Leo lives in an apartment. One, this one. Are you home? Okay, here's your tie, sir. Talk about the tie. I found a green tie for you. Do you like it? Definitely. Thank you, Carl. I hope 300 will cover the expenses. Yes, it will. Perfect. Perfect. Can I talk about the lottery now? Yeah, I've already done this. How can I convince him? Okay, maybe I gotta, like, blackmail him and then do it that way? I don't know. I have no idea. Um... Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's going out. Do I need to... Let's go. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's try to blackmail him. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Let's just go in here and put an apple in. What is he doing? Oh, he's making propaganda. Put. Oh, put. Put it. Okay. Come on out. Okay, um, so I wonder if, okay, let's try this. This is, this is probably a bad idea. Blackmail, this dude, what's his name? Leo, apartment. One, right? It's apartment one. What's the apple? What's the apple? What's the apple? No, 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 no. Um, apple. Apple. Okay, sixty thirty nine. Sixty 
39, and today is September 20th. Is that, is that how you do it? Am I going to get fined? No. No, it's got to be on September 1st. I think that's how you do this. Oh. The police to learn about this. Oh, I need to... But wait a minute. How do I... If I put the apple in there, then I got to take the apple out? I'm confused. A new message has been received. What message? Oh, here. So I go, I got to go in and then I got to take the apple out? That's confusing. Okay. Okay, let me check this message and then I think I'm going to end this episode here. University closed. Due to recent events at the university, the Ministry of Order has closed the facility. All of the employees have been laid off. Some of the students will be assigned to labor camps and others will be sent to war. Well, that's a great, two great alternatives right there. Voices of Truth. Comrades, we mourn that horrific decision. There, were, there you go, idiots. Since you didn't want to study, you get to march. Yep. Okay. Um Where is what's his face? Okay. Well, I said I was going to end the episode. So yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. We still have to do we got to still follow Oh. Oh, our phone's ringing. Our phone's ringing. Let me answer this. Let me answer this phone. Emergency call from the ministry. Ministry of order. Antoine Grubrick, the traitor of the motherland, has been living in your house for an entire week. It's been a week. Although he's our undercover agent in the revolution, you'll be punished for collusion. Oh, no. Your job is to watch and report everything that happens here. If you don't do this, you're either a traitor or asleep at the switch. That's intolerable. Consider yourself fined. How much? 75. Oh, gosh. That was a lot. Oh. Oh. Persuade Leo Gvezdek to invest money in Hoof and Horns. Yes, I know. Oh. Did they kick him out? Okay. Okay. We got to end this episode here. Okay. We're ending this episode here. I don't know what just happened. I just got fined. Um, dude just got kicked out, I think. No, he didn't get kicked out. His apartment's still here. But that that little um, that little thing just went south. Um, I don't know if I didn't complete the task fast enough. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway, we'll get back into it in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> like I said, I am failing miserably, I think, at this game. But I'm going to keep playing because I'm enjoying it. Um, hopefully, I'll get, I'll do something right. I don't know. I'm, I got $216. I'm sure I'm going to uh, lose my job here soon. So um, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.